Senator from Franklin. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this has been a, a very tumultuous thing, and I, and I apologize to the body for putting you through this. But I have maintained my innocence from day one. These false allegations that were brought against me would be disproved, I believe, after uh, faith in the court system, the system that we actually support. Uh, <clears throat> it would have been much easier, as the senator from Chittenden pointed out, had I re resigned way back in the beginning. But I felt that I was not guilty of anything. And the only person in this room that actually knows that I'm not guilty of anything is me. <coughs> Others may be judging me or prejudging me by what was written, <coughs> what they saw. That's not always fact, and you all know that. I have a daughter and four granddaughters. I am very much in line with any kind of sexual harassment. I have always voted to support any bill that was against domestic abuse. I have not done anything to warrant this. I, would I like to not have this happen? Absolutely. Uh, nobody knows more than me the seriousness of these charges, these allegations. Um, I've got people who want to put me in prison for the rest of my life. I'm very much aware of what is at stake. The easy route would have been to just try to avoid all this and not have to face anybody. I've chosen not to take the easy route, mostly because I know that I didn't do anything. And by you doing what these proceedings are taking away the people who supported me and who voted me into office. Uh, I don't think that that is a great message to be sending to anybody either. So, um, once again, I have the utmost respect for this body and the people in it, the judgments that they do, but I do not feel that I should be ostracized for something that I am not guilty of.